Hello guys, my name is Gautam and in this tutorial we will be building this uh, login form from scratch. So this is a bootstrap login form and you can see here this is the finished product that we will be making in this tutorial. So basically if I resize this form, you can see here this is the normal size of this form because I am viewing it in, onto the desktop. So as I reduce the size of it, it can auto you can see here it has it is adjusting to its proper size onto the tablet or mobile size so this is bootstrap so this is a responsive form that is uh, favorable in order to build onto the website so in this tutorial we will be building this so for this tutorial you just need a text editor so i am using this atom text editor so i will be clicking on new file and saving this file onto my bootstrap form folder and as you can see here I have downloaded a file uh, a, a image of user which I have used in this uh, form here and in this same directory I, have, I will be making my index.html file so first of all let me write the the basic structure of html that is doc type and then come the html tag head let me give a title of bootstrap form let me close the title and after that we need to import the bootstrap so what we can do here let course to google and type bootstrap and you know I will be included bootstrap by the CDM that is content delivery network so just go to this website w3schools.com and just copy this whole code that is first of all the CSS just paste it and after that I will be making my custom CSS file which I will be included right here style sheet and the path will be same that is it, is, it will be included in the CSS folder and the name of the file will be style.css and let me close off the head portion and quickly make the body and after that, after the body, I will be included my jQuery and bootstrap.main.js file. So let me copy it and paste it. So let me close the HTML. So after that, let me make a container class where my form will live. Let me close this. So after this I will be making a row and let me close that first and let me make a column call md stands for medium and 8 and also let me give a offset of let's suppose of 2 so it will align the form in into the center position so it will align it is done for the alignment purpose and after that let me make a heading that is login form close of the heading so after that i will be making a well so well is something looks like this that is this is the white portion that you see around this form this is actually a well in bootstrap so i am importing this by uh, giving a class of well so let me close up the div portion so into this well i will be making my form so let me open the form tag and so in this form tag I will be having first of all the image 
so image is located in the same directory that is what is my index.html so the path will be the same that is user.png and let me assign a class of uh, boot it is a bootstrap class that is it will give the image a shape of circle and alternative text let me give user and let me provide a width of uh, let's suppose 150 and a height of also 150 and close of this so after that I will be making my username and password field so it will be contained in the inside this class that is form group so it will be aligning the username and password fields automatically for us so this is a bootstrap class and inside this I will be providing my labels so first of all the username label let me close this and provide a simple label of username and close the label tag so after that we have input field input type of text so we are providing a form control class so it will align the text field uh, very pretty for us so this is a bootstrap class and let me close the div so if i refresh this one input field will be there so let me open the index.html file so as you can see here a heading is there login form image is aligned properly it is uh, having the shape of a circle and username field is there so this is the form uh, this is the class that i have provided that is this class form control so this is aligning the input fields in a very good manner so similarly i will be just copy this and it will be same for the password also so just replace this password and provide a label of password and type will be password and the rest will be the same so save it a password field will be there so after this I will need a checkbox so simply a class is there in bootstrap of checkbox and let me close this so inside this div I can declare my checkbox that is label input type type is checkbox and the label will be remember me and let me close the label so if I save this a checkbox will be added so as you can see here checkbox has been added so after this I will be providing a button in order to login button type will be submit and let me style it that is let me give a position of relative this is inline style I am just telling it a little bit and top will be 5 pixel and let me assign a class to it button button danger so this will provide a red color to it and the button will look nicer sign in let me close the button tag so if I refresh this a red button will be added you can see here the form looks in a nice way you can see here heading is there image is there two input fields has been added a checkbox has been added and a button so the HTML part is I think is over what we need here is that we just need to add the CSS part to, uh, to our file so just create a CSS file new and save it in the styles let me create a folder rename it to style 
sorry css 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 and the name of the file will be style.css so first of all i need to import some google fonts so just go to google and type google fonts so google fonts is a library where you can just import some beautiful fonts into your website so let me search first of all for this font mont serret let me click enter so as you can see here i will import this font just click the plus arrow and you will be one font family has been selected and in order to embed it into your web page just click this import button and let me copy this whole and you should paste it at the very starting of your style sheet and similarly i will import another one this is anton let me just import it so let me copy it paste so after that i need to apply the background color to the body background color let me provide a hexadecimal value that is 18121 e and save it just refresh it so as you can see here a background color to body has been added so let me just write some more code in the style.css file so let me provide a font family to it font family so let me copy it the fonts that we have imported so first of all i will copy this montserrat this copy it and paste it into the body style so let me paste it and after that we need to style the heading element that is h1 so first of all we need to align it into the center so we will provide a text align center property after that change the color to white and let me change the font size to 30 pixel and let me provide a margin from the top to 26 pixel and let me provide a font family that we have imported that is this anton let me copy this and paste it into my style sheet so let me save this so as i click enter you can see here our heading has been styled so let me go to the style sheet once again and let me just style the form and element let me provide a width to it 300 pixel and let me center it by providing a margin of auto so let me refresh this and go to my form so as you can see here our form has been centered so after that i will be just styling the image and providing a margin of left left margin of 80 pixel so let me refresh this our image will be aligned properly so as you can see here image has been aligned so after that i will be just styling the well so i am ac accessing this well that well is a class so it is accessed by dot well so after that i will be providing a margin of auto to center it after that i will provide a width of so let's suppose 400 pixels and a height of 420 pixel and a margin from the top 40 pixel so if i refresh this so as you can see here our form has been ready so one thing is missing from the form because if i just 
reduce the size of it it is not auto it is not looking nice in the tablet view because it is not uh, aligning properly so in order to add this i will just add the some media query to it to my css files so i will write media only screen and max width 480 pixel so 480 pixel is generally the size of the tablets and the mobile phones so it is only saying that if the size becomes if the maximum width becomes 480 pixel then provide then execute these styles so first of all i will be changing my well class to let me provide a width of 300 pixel so as soon as the width becomes 480 pixel the width of the well class will be reduced to 300 pixel and let me also manipulate the form control class so this is the input fields so let me also provide a width of 80 percent so it will align properly into the well and last but not least i will be just manipulating the image so just providing a position attribute to relative and let me provide a right and 10 pixels so just move 10 pixels from the right let me save this and press enter so let me ref just reduce the size of to so as you can see here if i just reduce the size a breakpoint has come you can see here you can see here it is aligning properly so this is the functionality that we have added to our form so it is aligning properly in both the desktop view and also to the mobile view so this completes our tutorial guys so guys if you like this tutorial please like this video and also share this video to your friends and if you have not not yet subscribed to your channel please subscribe the channel for more videos like this and i will be seeing you in the next tutorial until then thank you very much